One of the things that really concerned me when I first started into Windows clustering was, what if I need to remove a volume? We see here we've got a clustered shared volume, which means it's going to show up in both uh, nodes. In my case, I have a two node uh, cluster, and it's going to show up in both nodes at the same time under the C drive cluster storage and then volume one. And inside that we see our new text document, which is just a test file. So if I need to remove that cluster shared volume from the cluster, the question is, is will it delete my data? Well, let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the cluster shared volume and I'm going to first take it offline. Click yes. Now it's offline. Next, I'm going to choose remove from cluster shared volumes. And I'll go ahead and acknowledge and click remove and it usually takes a few seconds. And now we see it's been converted back to available storage. Converting back to available storage basically means that it's only going to be available on one node at a time or one server at a time. And so we see it didn't remove it from the list. All it did was convert it to available storage and it's going to be mounted on file server two. Now I'm going to right click and just remove it altogether. Click yes. And now it's gone. So I've first removed it from being a cluster shared volume. Then uh, it converted to available storage and then I removed it from available storage. So it is completely gone off the cluster. Is my data gone? Let's take a look. I need to switch over to file server two because that's where it says it was mounted prior to being removed. I'm in file server two once again, and now I got to find my data. Where is it? So if I click on this PC, well, we don't see it there. My 12 gigabyte drive is gone from there. So did the data get deleted? Next thing I want to do is go to server manager, go to tools, computer management. Now you could also go to file storage services. I just like computer management better because it's more graphical. And once that's open, we'll expand storage and disk management. Let's scroll down. Do we see our 12 gigabyte drive? Yes, we do. There it is. There's our drive and it says it's offline. So I'll just bring it online and it goes back to being the G drive. Is our data still there? That's the big question. There's the G drive and there's our file. So it didn't actually delete any of the data by removing it from being a cluster shared volume or from basic storage. So this is great news. So you can remove storage. You just have to know how to bring it back online through either file and storage services or computer management. Check out the other videos about Windows clustering and Server 2019 as well as older versions in this playlist.